Yo, what's going on guys? It's Scott here and today we're going to look at what the Lakers opening night rotation could look like. The Lakers have a lot of depth at every position this season. They have two starting caliber point guards, four versatile shooting guards, four talented scoring forwards, and three different types of centers. They're loaded with talent and the most difficult dilemma for Luke Walton will be to figure out exactly who should start and how the minutes should be divvied up. A couple things we've heard about the main players on the roster are that LeBron James will see more time at the five and Kyle Kuzma is been practicing guard skills to play more at the three. Of course these guys should receive a big portion of playing time, but the rest of the rotation will be impacted greatly by what positions they play this season. Now ideally some of the other main players like Lonzo Ball and Brandon Ingram would see around 34 minutes per game, just like they did last season, but that shouldn't be the case this season. The substantial amount of minutes they played last year had more to do so with the lack of depth at their positions. And now with the additions of Rondo, Lance, and even LeBron, they probably won't have to play as many minutes. Minutes. When considering this entire roster, really any one of the 13 players on the bench could receive minutes. But we're going to make a prediction based off of what we've heard about LeBron James and his role. Because LeBron should play more center, and the center the Lakers are facing on opening night is Yusuf Nurkic, who only averaged 26 minutes a game, we should expect LeBron to fill in a lot of minutes as a small ball center when Nurkic is off the floor. This should be true for a lot of other teams in the league because the way the game is moving, starting centers cannot play as much. So this allows LeBron to match his minutes with second unit players so he can play a lot of center that way. By doing this, it would open up a significant amount of minutes for the rest of the roster, and less minutes for their centers who are probably their biggest weakness anyway. To start off this rotation, LeBron should play around 36 minutes a game, which is close to what he's had throughout his career. Kyle Kuzma and Brandon Ingram are both players capable of playing in the mid-30s for minutes, but because the Lakers have so much depth, they can afford to play them a little bit less. I have Brandon Ingram getting 30 minutes as the starting small forward, with Kyle Kuzma getting 29 as the sixth man. Lonzo Ball and Rajon Rondo should split minutes at point guard, with Lonzo getting the greater amount at 28 per game. At the two, I think for opening night, KCP will get the start, but I definitely could see them moving Josh Hart to the starting lineup at some point down the line. I have KCP getting just 23 minutes, but that should help fit in Josh Hart and some other players on the roster. I think Josh Hart will prove himself to be a force off the bench, so I have him getting 20 three minutes right away, and that could rise closer to 30 if he can prove himself to be a key component of this roster. Then we have JaVale McGee receiving just 14 minutes per game, but I really can't see him playing much more than that because of his breathing issues. This is still four more minutes than they got with the Warriors, so it should be a good enough upgrade for him. Then to fill out the rest of the bench, Lance Stevenson should get around 13 minutes, Mo Wagner should get about what JaVale got at 15, and then Beasley should only get nine minutes per game. As you can probably tell, I didn't include Sphere Zubac back in this rotation, but this is simply a prediction and there's still a possibility that both of them could play on opening night. Svi seems less likely than Zubak because the Lakers have a lot of depth at the wing positions and we still don't know what to expect at center. Both of them will have a lot of opportunities throughout the season to earn minutes as injury and fatigue occurs, but at the start they probably won't play. Now for the actual rotation, Kuzma and Hart will be the first players off the bench and will be in the second unit with Rondo, Lance, and Wagner. The closing lineup will be the Lakers' expected small ball lineup of Lonzo, Hart, Ingram, Kuzma, and LeBron. The key point of this rotation was to keep LeBron's center minutes away from the opposing centers to avoid a potential defensive mismatch. For the fourth quarter, I gave LeBron entirely center minutes because at that stage of the game, his endurance and the Lakers' depth should allow them to play fast and outwork their opponent. The hardest part about making a rotation with this much depth is that nearly every player could play more minutes than they're getting. But in order to have fresh legs in the fourth, they'll have to sacrifice some minutes. The overall goal was to have as good of a spread as possible and have a deep rotation of 11 guys which is what we should expect from a fast-paced team like the Lakers. Their rotation on opening night could completely shift depending on matchups alone and that'll continue throughout the season but this seems like a good enough base for what we should expect them to open the season with. If you'd like to use this rotation for your NBA 2K19 Lakers My League then all you have to do is go to your rotation page, select rotation timeline and press Y to load rotations and search for Scott Ball 07 and it'll be right Right there. That'll be it for this video guys, let me know what you thought of this rotation, and if I should continue adjusting it as the season goes on, and if you want to see more Lakers content like this then make sure you subscribe if you're not already, and of course leave a like if you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.